In October of 1890, Henry Hull was born in Louisville, Kentucky, spent most of his time on the stage performing and appearing in Broadway. In the production of Tobacco Road, he was known for creating and perfecting the role of Jeter Lester. Henry Hall then later went on to perform in over 74 film productions between the years of 1970, 1917 and 1966. In March of 1977 in Cornwall, England, Henry Hall had passed away. Most of the cast and crew for Werewolf of London were considered rookies and no names, but Carla Mill and Universal Studios did enlist the veteran help of Jack Pierce to put his skills to Henry Hall's werewolf makeup. Jack Pierce, at the time of 1935, was known for his makeup work on Frankenstein, The Mummy, and The Bride of Frankenstein. All three of those films starred Boris Karloff. Henry Hull had protested the original specs of the werewolf makeup, stating that in the script, the character of Dr. Glendon would still be recognizable, even transformed in the werewolf state. Carl Lamell and Universal Studios agreed, and a more scaled-back makeup was applied. Jack Pierce would not be disappointed, though, because in 1941 he would implement his original idea in The Wolfman, starring Lon Chaney Jr. The reduced makeup also helped pull off this effect of the first transformation of Glendon into the werewolf. Universal Studios tried to emulate one steady, seamless shot with no cuts. Werewolf of London also puts a lot of the known werewolf legends in motion. For example, if you get bit or scratched by another werewolf, you will be cursed to become a werewolf, and whenever the moon is full, you will turn. The film does twist, though, one of the major legends in werewolf lore in that instead of using monkshood or wolfsbane, the plant that Dr. Yagami and Dr. Glendon seek out and fight for is called Merophagia. Merophagia is a plant thought to bloom only in the full moon and will deter the effects of werewolfism. Here we should note that real wolfsbane, real monkshood, is toxic and can be very fatal and poisonous to humans. The Werewolf of London and Henry Hull show us and prove that Henry Hull is the single pioneer of the werewolf genre of horror films. You are a single gentleman, sir? Singularly single, madam. 